Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to October 11th, 2020. In this video, National Economic Council Director Larry Kudlow announced this morning on CNN that Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin may offer a disaster relief package that costs more than the $2.2 trillion deal that Democrats are demanding. First, Fox News host Maria Bartiromo interviewed President Donald Trump this morning and asked him how was his health. The president stated that according to his doctors, he is now free of the virus, he has no symptoms, he feels great. He contended that he is now immune, that due to the antibodies that were transfused into his body, that he is now immune to the virus and he does not have to lock himself in a basement like his adversary, former Vice President Joe Biden. He stated that doctors and scientists have told him that if everyone would be able to receive this transfusion of antibodies, that doctors would be able to clear out hospitals completely, states need to open up. He explicitly called for the opening of the states of North Carolina, the states of Wisconsin. He stated that they won a case in Michigan in order to get that state reopened. He stated that they are fighting in the courts in Pennsylvania in order to get that state reopened. He stated that New York has to open up. That is now a ghost town. Then Maria Bartiromo stated that indeed New York City is in bad economic shape. He stated that a number of restaurants will go under and she asked the president whether he is supporting passing another round of stimulus to save these restaurants and to basically stay, save states such as New York President Donald Trump stated that he was all for it, that Republicans are all for it, providing aid to the states and to restaurants, to hotels, pumping money into the airlines and providing all this money through the next round of stimulus. Nonetheless, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is rejecting signing any document in order to put something into law and get this relief out to the American people. Then he started to criticized the Joe Biden tax program. He stated that if Joe Biden were to win the election, that he would basically remove, reverse all of the, the taxes that the president has cut and therefore taxes will go up for people of all income levels. He also stated that, the, that Joe Biden is out to stop fracking. Although Joe Biden has stated that now he's not going to stop fracking, but he says he's against fracking, so no one in Pennsylvania will vote for him. That in the polls he's up in cities such as Miami and in Arizona, that he would destroy the economies of Pennsylvania, he would destroy the economies of Texas, of Ohio, due to ending fracking, that he wants to destroy the oil industry, he wants to take your cars. He stated that putting Elizabeth Warren in charge of the economy under a potential Joe Biden administration would also be a disaster, that all of the billions of dollars that he has obtained, that he has welcomed into the country due to his policies will go away, that people will start to leave the country, the companies will leave the country, and we will not be able to compete with other powers such as Russia and China. He also noted that, uh, excuse me, Maria Bartiromo asked him whether a report in The Guardian finding that the Department of Defense actually has a task force to basically monitor any UFO sightings, if that was real. He stated that he will look into that. Nonetheless, that he's done more in his administration in his first three years than any other administration in the American in American history. And he stated that, he, that no one's ever done anything for the military. National Economic Council Director Larry Kudlow went on CNN today and again, he probably quadrupled down at this particular point in time, stating that the economic recovery does not depend on passing the next round of stimulus. With a headline on the footer of the CNN screen reading that, according to sources, the GOP Senate is slamming the White House stimulus offer as an act of betrayal. Jake Tapper, CNN's host, Jake Tapper, asked National Economic Council Director would if the if Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi were to ultimately reach an agreement and make a deal for the next round of stimulus, would they be able to package something that would get through the Senate and that the Senate would ultimately send to the president that he can ultimately sign into law? National Economic Council Director Larry Kudlow stated that the president is very happy with providing the next round of stimulus checks, support for the unemployed, support for small business loans, and he's willing to go beyond the amount of money that Democrats are demanding, but 
He wants that money to go towards these targeted relief efforts. He stated that right now, passing this next round of stimulus, being desperate for it is not because of the election. It's to try to help get Americans through this public health and public economic crisis. He said that right now the country is enjoying incredible blockbuster numbers and the and economic conditions are vastly improving. Therefore, the economy does not have to rely on passing the next round of stimulus in order to recover. So, Jake Tapper, he pushed him on this and he asked him, do you think that we should have it? And he stated again, he's probably like, quintu like the fifth time he's doubled down on this stuff, basically stating that the economic recovery does not depend on passing the next round of stimulus, although it can use it in order to ensure that the, econ the economy recovers beyond the next three weeks to the end of the year, for next year, etc., through a potential second term with President Donald Trump. He stated that, yeah, we could use it, but it, it, the economic recovery does not depend on passing the next round of stimulus. And then he starts citing the green shoots, etc. Jake Tapper interrupted him real quick. He interjected by stating that Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell doesn't think so. As you know, Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell is contending that without Congress's fiscal aid, that the economy will have to endure a weaker recovery. National Economic Council Director rebutted that claim by stating that Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell is actually supporting these targeted measures, ensuring that there is relief for the unemployed, support for small businesses, support to reopen schools, support to open small businesses. Then he started, again, citing his typical green shoots. He said that housing starts are surging, more people are buying homes. He stated that there are improvements in supply chains for manufacturing and the service industry. He stated that right now there are improvements, that there are businesses that are actually opening up doors, that there are also improvements in auto sales. Then Jake Tapper cited Mark Zander, or Mark Zandi, I think that's his name, Mark Zandi from Moody Analytics contention that if Congress does not pass another round of stimulus, then the economy, the country, will shed more jobs. National Economic, National Economic Council Director, I'm going to say NEC Director from now on, NEC Director, Larry Kudlow, stated that Mark Zandi is his friend. Nonetheless, he's always a naysayer when it comes down to Republican policy. And he cited the Atlantic Fed's GDP model forecasting that GDP will increase by 35%, and the blue chip, consens the blue chip consensus is that the, their projections will show that GDP in the third quarter will increase by 29%. Nonetheless, they, I'm guessing the administration and public officials, would be happy with a 20% increase. Jake Tapper told NEC Director Kudlow that uh, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell A. told the Washington Post that only 10 Republicans would be on board to passing a $2 trillion deal for the next round of stimulus. However, NEC Director Kudlow stated that Democrats are actually holding things up that as long as the administration and Democrats compromise on a deal for the next round of stimulus, then GOP senators would fall in line, ultimately pass that bill and send it to the president's desk for signature into law. However, reportedly, Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin and White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows were on a call with Senate Republicans yesterday where they slammed the administration's $1.8 trillion offer. So according to multiple sources, a $1.8 trillion deal would have no chance in the upper chamber. That said, Jake Tapper, he started to play the tape when he, when President Donald Trump went on Rush Limbaugh's show a couple of days ago on Friday, and he announced that he actually wants a bigger package than what either Republican or Democrat lawmakers want. And again, National Economic Council Director, he stated that the president may send Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin with an offer that costs more than $2.2 trillion that Democrats want. Nonetheless, he wanted it to be for targeted aid. Again, for the checks, the next round of stimulus checks, support for the unemployed, support for small businesses, support for airlines, that support 
for small businesses may include, again, that SBA Lifeline grant of $50,000, the lesser of $50,000, or six months of revenue minor cost of goods sold, another round of economic injury disaster loan grants. You know, in the updated HEROES Act, Democrats are actually calling for policies that ensure that the federal government funds, or actually is funds these businesses with these, uh, these grants. So he said that he wanted it for these targeted measures. Nonetheless, he doesn't want that the White House is not calling for or doesn't want any any giveaways for state and local governments. They don't want to fix any pensions. They don't want to provide assistance for illegal immigrants or anything else that does not have to do with providing disaster relief due to the economic disruption that this pandemic has dealt on the country. Let me know what you think. Drop your comments in the comment section below. Watch this video right here for more stimulus and economic injury disaster loan grant coverage. Click the like button if you like the video. Click the subscribe button and click the bell notification to stay on top of my findings. We report and mobilize like no one else will and stop at nothing until each and every one of you is equipped with the monetary ammunition you need to save and feed your families, save your businesses, to keep your employees on payroll, to ultimately save this country. May God bless you. May God bless the United States of America and everybody else on this planet. Talk soon.